Welcome to your Thursdays this morning. It is a really joyful day because we've got three days until Christmas, but it's a very sad day today. Oh. It's really sad. Oh. Quite, quite. Oh. Quite, quite. What's happening? What's happening? It's, it's, it's Craig's last day. It's Craig's last day. He's going home all the way to Ireland, never to be seen again. I know I'm that. joking, it's not your last If anyone's on the M4 at half past 12 today, get off the road, because I'm rushing to the airport. Hey, what a lovely week it's been. Josie, can I embarrass you for a moment? No. Because all week in Westfield, when I've been last minute shopping, people are coming up to me saying, is Josie as lovely as she appears on television? And she absolutely is, everybody, who are thinking that at home, an absolute dote. And it's been oh. lovely getting to know you this week, having a bit of crack with you, so thank you so much for that. Not only that, can I be a little bit indulgent, the crew here are phenomenal. And you can't believe, if you looked under the bonnet of this show and you see how hard everybody works, all the crew, yeah. all the experts, yeah. boys and girls in the offices, all they've been through this year, they're fantastic. So happy Christmas to all of you Aww, lot for me, if you don't yeah. mind. And uh, yeah, just get off the M4, any of you, if I'm on it, because I need to get home. Thanks so much. Yeah. Should, we, should we do show stuff? You've been glorious. Thank it's you. It's been good crack, hasn't Thank it? You. And the knitwear has been phenomenal. Less <laughs> the sleeveless top. A low point, but many high points. Um, right, should we crack on? Yeah, thank you. Right, if you live in Lancashire, make sure you keep your presents hidden away. Because, Josie, the Grinch. The Grinch. Yeah, he's been seen lurking close by. For the past three years, the mysterious Grinch has been spotted by the locals walking his German Shepherd, which is, of course, named Max. But while he wishes to remain anonymous, we've managed to track him down and we can say, good morning, Mr. Grinch. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Mr Grinch, um, uh, why don't you tell everyone what you've been up to uh, over the past couple of years? Because you're very, very naughty but happy Grinch, aren't you? <laughs> I am, yeah. Uh, well, it's all started in lockdown. And I, I, lost, I lost my granddad and my dog on the same night. And I got the Grinch costume to have a laugh with my boys. And they, they loved it. I went into town and I just seen the old place. It was just down. It didn't feel like Christmas. There weren't a smile around. Nobody, it was just not nice. Everyone struggled with lockdown. So uh, we got Max on the lead because my boys loved it so much. And off we went. We never looked back since. So what's the reaction been like from your local community when they see you dressed as the Grinch with the lovely Max there? Absolutely brilliant, the beeping. They're beeping their horns, they're asking for photos. <laughs> they're stopping their cars, t turning round. I've had police, uh, police, police ask me for a photo. So I've had uh, a good few people pull over and say, you're doing good, lifting Christmas spirits. And that's what it's all about at Christmas. No one should have to worry. So you've turned into quite the celebrity. Christmas. <laughs> this year it's blown up a little bit, yeah. It's blown up. Max is a bit shy there, not keen on, not keen on the TV cameras. He no. is a bit shy, Max. Max is also is a in, 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 Max. dressed up. Max is actually a Jack Russell. So it's quite... <laughs> I see what you've done there. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Uh, come here to me. Has anyone, has anyone worked out who you are yet? A few people. A few people have. But I wish to remain anonymous. It just spreads the joy better. Well, thing, isn't it? we will keep you anonymous. We can't say Max is anonymous anymore, but we'll keep you anonymous. But we wanted you in the <laughs> studio, but you're actually very busy today, aren't you? What are you going on to after? Uh, I've got my boys later on. I've got my three boys. So, oh. it's just with it being Christmas, it's a bit tricky to get down. And, and you're going to be still dressed as the Grinch? Uh, when's that, sorry? And you're going to be still dressed as the Grinch later? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, OK, good, good luck. Man. Good <laughs> luck. I'm glad you're excited about the day. And uh, <laughs> have, a, have a great time. Have a great Christmas. Keep spreading the joy, <laughs> Grinch. All right? <laughs> Take care of yourself. Cheerio. See you, Max. Merry Christmas. Bye, bye Max. See bye. Bye, Mr Grinch. <laughs> See ya. <Bye. laughs> hey, it's a lovely thing. 
It's a lovely thing he's doing and he's making people happy and we love that. That's Fair it. Picture. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, right, we've got loads more festive fun on the show today. Here's what's coming up. If you want to wow your guests this Christmas, Georgina Burnett will be helping you create the perfect festive dining table. Good morning, Georgina. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, you won't get me cooking in the kitchen on Christmas Day, but the table will look fabulous, darling. Um, so I've got some bits and pieces to show you. I'm going to show you what I can do with candy canes. Um, also, you guys any good at napkin folding? Because I'm actually going to get you doing a bit of work yourself. Yes. Yes, I good, cannot good, wait good. for that, Georgina. Now, also on today's show. And um, what are you going to ask Santa for for Christmas? A silly sausage. A silly sausage? And, um, and a pig. And a pig? Yes, get ready for snow, sleigh rides, and of course, Santa Claus will be taking you on mine and Reggie's magical trip to Lapland later. Whether you need the perfect New Year's Eve outfit or a cosy pair of pyjamas, our fashion editor Amber will be here with her top picks from this supermarket. Hiya, Amber, how are you? Good morning, you two. Yeah, the supermarkets have seriously upped their game in the style stakes, so why not pick up perfect party wear while picking up your sprouts? I'll have my idea of the best bits at 12. Oh, nice. Yep. And is an air fryer at the top of your Christmas list? I know it is for many. Juliet Sears joining us with four delicious recipes to try. What have you got for us, Juliet? Yeah, exactly. Well, a third of UK households already have one of these, and they're not just for chips. I've got four amazing recipes. We've got a movie night, snacks, side dish, lunch, and even a nice dessert. Nice. I'm a complete you can make convert. So much, so I've much. done uh, boiled eggs in mine. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't even explode, which was a little <laughs> disappointing. <laughs> but no, they're good. It's they're seriously. They're amazing. It's wi it's witchcraft. I think those, <laughs> those jokes. Boiled good eggs. Stuff. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, amazing. Uh, also on today's show, as they prepare to head to Sandringham, we'll be finding out how the royal family are spending Christmas. That's coming your way at half past ten. Ah, uh, from beating the bloat to soothing a hangover, Dr. Zoe will be helping you fill the best during the festivities. That's at five to twelve. And as she returns to our screens in the Madame Blanc Mysteries, Sally Lindsay will be joining us. That's in the studio at 10 past 11. And just a quick word about the today's phone-in with relationship expert Rosie Green. She'll be here taking your calls. What can you help with today, Rosie? Well, I think Christmas is often a really hard time for relationships. So maybe you're dealing with heartbreak. Maybe you're worried about being single. Uh, maybe there's that all, all worrying something with the in-laws in and a sort of really tight Christmas. So anything that's worrying you, just call in. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Yeah, give us a call for free on 08000 30 40 44 or download our free This Morning app to get involved. Please get in touch by 11.15 today and you must be 18 or over. Now it's